Good afternoon everybody, it's Moonlight Gypsy here and I was going to give an update on the outside of the house that had the flood. Inside it's doing pretty good, few things need to be done like um, vent covers and outlet covers and doorknobs and just those kind of things. And so the outside is in what is, what's needed there is a lot of TLC. So the elephant ears have made it and we even have extra elephant ears that are popping up everywhere so they seem to be thriving this area here was where i had the animals that really nice chicken coop that my son made took a huge hit water was really powerful in this area and turned it over i won't be doing any more animals here so i don't know what he wants to do with it I'm gonna try and take the sh sun shades down because they were new, clean them off, air them out to dry, and then use them somewhere else. But this whole area needs to be weed whacked and mowed. So that needs some work. I'm going to just start small with what I can do, just trying to clean up a little bit. And uh, since I love the yard, that will be my area to work on. To help him out this plant made it it did good i think i'm going to take it to my son's uh the property and put it at the front entrance it'll make a really pretty entrance plant and i'm just going to stick it in the ground it actually grew more all this is new growth so it made it the water was like up to here right in there in that area so it was pretty high uh my fruit plants took a hit but I think that was from lack of TLC and me tending to him. This is the tangerine. Uh, it will pull through. I'm gonna take that to his property. Gonna take this to his property. This one is, um, this is a lime quat. I think it will pull through. It just needs TLC, they need water. This one is a lemon mire. And uh, this one is some other little orange one. The low quat did okay. I'm going to take that to his property, plant it over there. So all the fruit trees, I'm just going to take to the other property. These plants, I some of them I can save. Um, ponytail plant, I think I can save. Looks like two of them made it. And I do have a couple aloes. My big, big, big aloe is gone unless it comes up in the spring, not really sure. Oh, this made it. This is a, I always have trouble pronouncing it, but it's a Bougandivia, Bougandivia. And my other one made it too, this one. Where is it at, right here. So I'm gonna take that to the other property. Rosebush made it, I'm glad, I'm glad that made it. I wonder where my other rosebush is. Oh, it might be gone. I think that was the pot that I was in. Hmm. Um, don't think that was it. I, if I knew what color it was, I would know. But, but everything's filthy um, where the water was. Everything needs to be cleaned, pressure washed. So I'd like to get to that kind of stuff. Still has stuff in the yard. We need another dumpster. Um, this plant's doing good. So that's savable. And this was an inside plant, but it seems to be doing good. It has some new shoots out on it. I might, um, I might work on that and put it in a smaller pot and see what it does. This is doing good. Looks like I have some, actually some new blooms on it. Camellia is doing good. Um, that I think, hmm, what was that? Oh, okay, what was that? That was not a hydrangea. Um, oh, it'll come to me. Hibiscus. No, was it a hibiscus? Yeah, I think that one's a hibiscus. So I think that survived. Let's see, I did have some gardenias. I don't know where they are. Oh, there's another rose bush. That one survived. 
So I do have some things that made it. Like I said, the elephant ears are huge. They're everywhere. But the back, the front yard definitely needs some work. Um, mostly was focused, my son was focused on the uh, inside. The mint survived. Not sure if I even want it since it was covered in yucky water. Let's see what else I've got. Well, this is a corn plant. It survived. That was my brother-in-law's plant. So I'm kind of glad about that. I can take that and start more. And these were my mom's. So I can start more with that. Oh, this was my mom's too. See, everything just needs to be really clean. But I have new growth. This would be the new growth. And this would be what was underwater. So I need to clean that. That was my mom's plant. So I'd like to save those. Um... I mean, I had so many, so many beautiful plants. Oh, another corn plant. I think I can make that survive. That looks pretty decent. I got some new growth here, you can see. It's nice and clean. Aloe, a couple of aloes. I can, hey, I've got something to start with. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. I can take them to my sister's house and she can, um, help me you know scrub them down and repot them but if you looked at my past videos you would see I had like a whole tropical theme going on here with aloe and it was nice and green it looked really pretty but I have I'm happy to have a few things to work with and to get me started again I don't know how much effort I'll put into it, but I'll try and save what I have. You can see everything's still really dirty. Needs a good cleaning. I'm going to toss a lot of this stuff. These made it. Um, they have no water in there. I need to put some water. This made it. That made it. Oh, we got a uh, couple succulents they made it but I'd like to get this all cleaned up and at least decent so that for the holidays it looks nice it's just dirty I'm gonna throw a lot of this out and um, just try and scrub everything down and whatever plants we have I can uh, start over and maybe I'll get some just some new fresh plants out here with some color for the holidays so at least my son feels like he has something going on. But nothing major. Just going to take a little work. A little elbow grease. So, so I just thought I'd give everybody a quick update on the outside. Got my work cut out for me. But nothing I can't handle. So I hope everybody has a good day. And thanks for tuning in.